read an article on Twitter about how natural gas is trying to be forced out and businesses are experiencing four times the monthly payment for the gas that they need. It's just... One, I want to talk about fusion, and two, about the issues of what this actually means, is that if this is happening, that means the people are trying to Remove, remove the infrastructure, essentially. They're trying to... I've, I said this a long time ago, right before the election, that, that Biden is going to try to sell the United States. That's what I... Everything I listened to him, I just saw this coming. That the economy, with that being shut down, how debt was still accruing, they're going to find some way to get a foothold where they can just basically sell the entire country and just take everything you know it's, it's foreign investment one little piece at a time all this stuff i mean they don't want to people people that immigrate here you think they want to move here to cut your lawn no they people want to take this from us they want to remove the constitution and if that happens i mean we are projectably the last constitutional society that will ever exist in humanity where that leads, you know, is just another civil collapse. Is, and we'll just repeat history, essentially. Congratulations. So, aside from all of that, I don't want to talk about the politics, or necessarily even the economics. What I want to talk about is fusion, because I like physics. And what is going to come very soon is a type of fusion particle accelerator, right? So, there's going to be a way to take hadron collider essentially and now construct atoms so we can just instead of accelerating them and exploding them what we can do is reverse that and you have like a magnetic sort of fusion accelerator right that's condensing matter into atoms and molecules we can we can essentially just do this we can probably do it right now if we wanted to do it's you know, I mean, I haven't really delved too much into it, aside from how fusion would work. And that's our future, way down the road. But honestly, I thought fusion was going to take hundreds of years. Everybody pretty much did time, and it's like... <laughs> like it's pretty cool. So the fact that we even proofed fusion engine and figured out how to do that, that's a big thing. The humanity as an optimistic future, but people today are fucking rotten. I am just experiencing the worst sorts of people every single day, everywhere I go. I went to buy canvases yesterday and some paintbrushes to experiment with, and I, I, it's 1939, right? So that was the price. And I bought three brushes and two canvases and some some wedges because the canvases weren't stretched none of them were stretched for some reason and i go to this lady and i pull out money and she gets really edgy and like suspicious acting and, and kind of flaky about it like i'm either gonna use a fake bill or that i might try to rob her because of because I look like this. I don't know. I mean, when you step back, I'm like overweight right now. I'm not in shape. I mean, I'm just. But apparently, I mean, this is everywhere I go. The people, the people have this in their mind. Like, that they don't understand why theft happens, and they're so concerned about it that we get these vigilante people who are very superficial and judgmental today i went to get cheese for making burgers tonight because they had burgers on sale and i'm looking through the cheese trying to find some cheap cheddar all i need because then you know i'll spend the extra like dollar fifty and i can get fancy good cheese and i can use that today i love doing that that's, that, i mean i personally think everything should be sort of serving size based but then we just exploit that
but it works with the cheese. It really does. And you get better cheese. Enough about cheese. Anyway, I'm looking through the cheese, and this lady walks up, and I can hear her conversation with the other lady at the cheese counter. These two middle-aged, plump women. And she's like, oh, the first time I saw someone walk in like that, I thought he was stealing cheese and all this other stuff. So I just look at her and say, so you're passively, aggressively trying to, to, to say that I'm, or to speculate that I'm stealing cheese, or you want to make me feel like I look like somebody who would steal cheese. Not even that it doesn't fucking matter if somebody steals some cheese, that because of the way humanity is about to like get real serious right with constructing and biometric s sustainability i always call it biometric that's the wrong word but that like how fucking shitty everybody is and i'm just like i don't I, it's just they're passively aggressively having a conversation to try and over there to gossip together to where i can hear it so that I feel bad about either how I look or just trying to really feed that superiority complex, right? So that's the only way that I can analyze it. I just sit and she's like, wait, what? what? I'm like, you know what you're talking about. <laughs> that these are the people that we need to remove. But this, this whole idea of theft comes from profit. So all profit is made by somebody else and i've made other videos to explain that say there's a sheriff and he has it in him to pull the trigger of a gun for justice there's going to be a child down his bloodline that now has the potential to pull that trigger for justice but only self-righteous justice and what he deems to be right and wrong people i made other videos too people don't have a clue how to tell what is right from wrong or why People will double turn, and that's dangerous, creating conflict points. But they will sit at a red light on an empty road, and they think that it's dangerous. So when you get into this whole thing why I'm making this video about, about gas and this entire infrastructure, and aside from the economics, talking about the philosophy and the physics of how we can create a fusion particle accelerator where we can really just pump out gas essentially we could just pump it out free like <laughs> people don't realize too i mean like all the landfills every single one of them are going to be worth billions and billions of dollars all those molecules in there that is a stockpile of matter and molecules even that have already been used and reworked that there's something called uh time memory too and then it's not just how like you can store information in in quantum atmospheres it's literally time memory can also be used to reincorporate like electrons into molecules and like basically reverse their structure you can do that if you do it right and if you well you have to have quantum probability and, and uh, perfect vector theory but quantum vectoring but i mean if i could already figure that stuff out the, the real guys please i mean come on why are you so worried if somebody steals a fucking piece of cheese the fact the way that you act like that then means that your children now have that encoded into their brains to be like that in another less positive circumstance so let's just say now that we have that we're gonna have what witch hunts again are we gonna have fucking salem witch trials again because you're gonna start looking at some weird people like me, and what, you're gonna burn me to death? Right? That's what we're going towards, is that sort of mentality. And people are just gonna take what they can. You're not better because you work. Plain and simple. The pandemic showed that. I've explained it through countless videos and comments online and conversations to explain to people that what is the fundamental what's the foundation that's why i always have that thought experiment where you just put somebody in a dark room and don't tell this to a psychologist because they think that you're locking people up in a dark room but she, she couldn't comprehend it i mean how many philosophers do you actually fucking meet apparently none so 
it's just a thought experiment and you give them a guitar and they pluck the string and you know they would they reinvent music theory so that that's a foundational concept to to humanity in general if we just weeded everything out right now would we reinvent calculus would we naturally know how to reinvent the wheel would we be able to maintain what it means to be a human being and what it means to be human is entertainment laughter joy complexity of emotions anger and hate hate is like one true liberty that we actually have in america that people are so just afraid of hate is one of the freest things that you can have it's how you use hate that becomes the problem and it's the same thing gotta trim this fucking thing i so you look at these companies aside from like trying to help people understand how this entire country is going to be taking over taking over essentially that doesn't matter people that steal because either they need nutrients or they want a nicer piece of cheese because somebody wealthy has been able to eat good cheese for the last 50 years and they've never had one that says fuck it fuck you fuck this system I want some nice cheese so I'm just gonna take a little bit of it they ain't stealing cheese wheels you ain't gonna go bankrupt, and of course, not everybody can do that. But those people have a moral ambiguity that helps them understand the difference between right and wrong, rather than the people that just feed into a in a structure in a system that they don't understand, that they don't know right from wrong. They're feeding into this system and they're looking at a red light and they think it's dangerous because it's red. So, I spent the last seven years, I mean, if I had gone to school, I would have a PhD in philosophy, right? I call myself a natural born philosopher. And aside from going into that story, don't have to, it's just... When I designed the laws of free will, I discovered paradox of, paradox of philosophy. I started writing a constitution that governs all cognitive life in the universe, right? So, me, I'm looking millions of years ahead. Right? If we find intelligent life on other planets, what if it's a cow, right? And then I, I made a simple thought experiment about that too, called Cow Roller Coaster a long time ago. It's just meant to be a joke. I'm trying to make it more silly so that more people could think in depth that we need to think about other species we gotta not only just try to understand other people right other understand other life forms that if you put a cow on a roller coaster how do you know it would enjoy it would it not enjoy it or I any mean, cows enjoy riding in the backs of trailers to the to the slaughterhouse they don't know they're going to get slaughtered but they get a look at a lot of things, and cows are always looking out of the holes. And cows are very curious creatures. And so, you know, that's one thing. And it expands on our constitution that has the laws of free will in them anyway. But we just, we have these people then... That if you are working a good job and you actually enjoy working and you're a chef and now the gas industry comes in and they t they destroy that business and people think oh you're burning the atmosphere or this or that or the footholds of trying to just disrupt businesses in general and uproot homes and families but at the end of it we're not working on the moral fiber of humanity right now, which is what we need to be working on, because in another hundred years, we're, if we could have that fusion accelerator in, in five years at this point, I mean, however much money you pump into this thing, 
is going to make it happen. And, and there are people a lot better at physics than me, but if I can figure all this out, and I can understand it, and try to spread the word and give it to other people, then in the long run, you know, we... It's like kind of like that movie Elysium, right? They didn't work on the moral fiber of humanity, so the wealthy people and the intellects came together and ostracized and became no different than like a, like a religion. Like I've said, science will probably become religion very soon because of how things appear to be changing and consistency and that you have these people that then what build this space city and they have perfect health care that can like heal anything which that machine is possible too with vector theory we can actually design and build that sort of thing and there's going to be an equation that cures all diseases in the future but all this tech all this stuff that removes every little bit of problem for people it it's the same thing as if you give people a bunch of money what happens do they start going around making more problems for people do they see it as an opportunity to gain power to buy up land to buy up homes and to to charge people for their right to exist and occupy space and even the victims are the same way. A lot of them are victims that want that same power. It's pretty good whiskey. The stuff is really good. Good woody notes to it. And it's cheap. But I have Johnny Walker waiting for me after this video. I'm gonna just say it. Those ladies, can I change the way that they actually think? Or should they inherently think like that? Are you worthy of the future? Are your bloodlines worthy? Now, I'm not talking about the Nazi solution. I already made a video about my answer to the Jewish question that elaborates that there's that question is inherent in humanity and that I think I'm basically Jewish <laughs> I'm like a natural Jew but that that we still need as much diversity as possible but inherently you can't just go up and change these women's minds it works for their life now but what about the future? What about those bloodlines? Are my children going to still speak like this? Are they going to still correct those thoughts? Are we going to be capable of that forever? And are we? Just, are those people then, what if they overproduce their offspring and we weed out what it means to be self-aware and conscientious and to object against what it means to be a fucking hypocrite? Okay, Hypo hypocrisy been trying to fight it for a very long time that's what we need to fight right now and I've been saying it for a while but that's what we need to weed out in humanity because this technology is coming either way and you need the philosophy now more than ever